Hello everyone, Nimra here. In this video, I will show you how to tutorial step by step defeating abundant Ebon Deer and clear World 7 difficulty 3 on Simulated Universe using free to play characters that you can obtain them through progressing storyline and not from gacha. Here is my team setup, still same as the previous difficulty. I am using Trailblazer Fire, Natasha, Asta, and Kingke. With my Trailblazer Fire build, I am using like an Ember. And these are the traces I unlock for Trailblazer Fire. And the relics I am using Bellabog of the Architects and Knight of Purity Palace. With the main stats are HP, Attack, Defense Percentage, Defense Percentage, Defense Percentage, and defense percentage. With 5 Eudolans activated for Trailblazer Fire. The next is Natasha. I'm using Lycon Cornucopia. With these are the traces I unlocked for Natasha. And the relics I'm using Fleet of the Ageless and Passerway of Wandering Cloud. With the main stats are HP, Attack, <coughs> sorry, attack uh, Outgoing Healing Boost percentage, uh, HP percentage, HP percentage and HP percentage with uh, zero Eudolans activated for Natasha. The next is Asta. I'm using Lycon Chorus and these are the traces I unlock for Asta and the relics I'm using Inner Sosoto and Fire's Mate of Lava Forging. With the main stats are HP, Attack, Crit Rate percentage, Attack percentage, Fire Damage Boost percentage, and Attack percentage. And still with zero Eudolans activated for Asta. And the last is King Kue. I'm using like on the seriousness of breakfast. And these are the traces I unlock for King Kue. And the relics I'm using in Sasato with Musketeer of Wild Wit and Genius of Brilliant Stars. With the main stats are HP, Attack, Crit Rate Percentage, Attack Percentage, Attack Percentage, and Attack Percentage. And still with zero Eudolans activated for King Kue. The next about the blessings I obtained through this World 7 difficulty tree, uh, I'm focusing on the hand's resonance. I mean blessing of the hand. Of course I have part resonance the hand. Uh, with two resonance formation, there are bow and arrow and perfect M. Uh, by the way, those two resonance formation uh, are the most important I, in my opinion. And also, I have two three stars blessings of the hand with four two stars blessings of the hand and three, four, five, six, seven. Seven one star blessings of the hand. With total, I have 16 blessings of the hand. Also, I have one blessings of preservation with one blessings of remembrance and three blessings of abundance. And last, I have one blessings of destruction. And also, but the Korea, uh, by the way, those two are randomized. I'm using the parchment that always eats an omniscient capsule. As always, before attacking the Ebon Deer, we can use a preparation like Trailblazer Fire Enhance. Trailblazer defense, King Quaid defense, and start the fight with Asta technique. Yes. Okay. Because the Ebon Deer start the fight with summoning the plan, we need to destroy those two plan using the path resonance. Now we can normally attack the Ebon Deer. Let me use uh, Asta ultimate. Now let me heal King Kue. Now let's try to enhance. Good. Now let's try to use uh, King Kue ultimate. We need to break uh, the Ebon Deer weakness. Good, now 
ってないわ <laughs> oh the next turn is the abundir let's see oh he using the area of effect attack now okay let's heal king Kue. Okay, no, he summoned another plan. Oh, sh my god. I didn't think that the, it could go to second phase. Now, it's kind of danger for myself. Now, let's charge to. I mean, let's charge the Patrasonians first. Because I should have. Save the Patasonians to destroy this four plan. Why I keep repeating the mistake? Oh my god. Let me turn. Okay, now let's try to dispel the debuff on Trailblazer Fire. And keep recharge the path resonance. Now Asta got the buff. Okay, good. Okay, to charge Patrasonin is already ready. Now we need to using the Kinko ultimate first to make sure that those plan able to be defeated by Patrasonin's. Okay, good. Now let's try using the Trabezer Fire ultimate first and then continue with Kinko ultimate. And last, we need to use two charge of Patrasonians. Okay, let's see. Okay, good. We can use another Patrasonians. Okay, nice. Now let's continue attack uh, the Ab the Ebondir normally. Let me turn. Nice one. But, oh, uh, he's still taunted, it's good. Okay, he summoned another plan. Let's use Pastor Sonens. Good, let's use another charge of Pastor Sonens. Very nice. Now let's go to the final phase. Okay. Let's see, we can use uh, Trabezer Ultimate first. Now let's see if we could use Kinko Ultimate first. Okay, nice. Now uh, to make sure that the Patroson is able to defeat the plan summoned by this Abondir, we need to use uh, at least 
uh, King Quail Ultimate before using an, uh, two charts of Path Resonance. Let me show you. One. Very good. Two. Very nice. No, no, no. Three. Uh, I ended, I ended using too much Path Resonance. Don't be like me. Now, let's continue attack uh, the Ebon Deer. Uh, let me heal the King Crave first. Okay, Asta in danger right now. Now the deer has broken. It's very good. Uh, let me use the skill again. Thirty-four percent left now. Let's deplete the Ebon Deer HP first until thirteen percent. Okay, now he is summon another plan again. Now let's try to use mm, Travis Ultimate first. Now let's continue using the Patrosonens. Good charge is enough, and we're done. Now let's mm, let me try claim this immersion reward. I think that this Rotiland Arena is good enough. But what I don't have? Oh my god! Okay, let's use Starvator Power. Fire damage boost with crit shot. Very good. It's oh no. Once again, oh my god, tech energy regeneration that I don't know what this relic for. Now let's exit the simulated universe. So that's the tutorial about defeating abundant Ebon Deer and clear World 7 difficulty tree on simulated universe. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. In Sumos's Welfare Ship. Ooh! Quantum damage boost with crit threat and epic hit threat, but. Effect crest, yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what this is for.